Okay, this is just a really quick video on how to fix a frozen preview in Adobe Premiere. So this has never happened to me before in years of using Premiere and when it happened it just completely baffled me and it took me about an hour to work this out. So hopefully this will save other people a lot of time. So as a bit of a background, what I'd done is I had all the files on my DAS drive, which is where I generally edit from. Um, but then I was away for a couple of days, so I wanted to take the edit with me and work off a portable SSD. So I copied the whole project over, put it onto the SSD. As you know, I've done many times in the past, it's not something new. And when I brought it into the edit, um, I, I, it basically just completely frozen. So I just, you know, you can't, you can play the playhead, it's moving, nothing's happening. If you bring it back to here, I've got audio, but that there's just no actual you know if there's no video it doesn't work at all so i'd come up i'd i'd rendered the in and out points i'd rendered the whole timeline i, I tried rendering it with the effects just literally nothing made a, a difference and it wouldn't budge so um i mean as a bit of context i'm using uh this is this is version uh, two, uh, 20, 22 22.0 on a mac or you can see up there 22.1.2 uh, on a on a Mac, so you know it, it it could be a different problem on yours, but you know for for mine this this kind of fixed it. So you know I tried rendering, I tried closing the whole program and the uh, shut the application, and opened it back up, tried restarting it. Um, I I took the files off the SSD and I put them onto my internal hard drive, um, thinking that that might help. It, it didn't. <laughs> Neither project worked. Um, I duplicated the editing file itself, the Premiere file, and thought maybe that would resolve it, and it didn't. Um, that literally the only thing I could get to get it working in the end was the fact that I'm using the the editing workspace. So uh, literally all I did was go up to the editing workspace up here. So window workspaces came up to wall panels. Um, and I just switched into that one because obviously you can just reset it all from there anyway. So I went to all panels and then you can see now I've actually got a working timeline. So <laughs> I just don't know what was going on with that. But essentially you can, um, I, I, I just tried everything, you know, I'd change in the resolution and it's just, just nothing worked. So uh, that was the only thing that seemed to bring it back to life. And you can see now if I jump back into the editing workspace again it's still just now frozen on that frame and I just cannot get it to play so I'm sort of just stuck using the all panels workflow but like I say it's not um, you know it's not a big problem you can you can do um, if you come up to this kind of little hamburger menu up in the corner uh, you, you can either do close panel close all other panels and all of the ones in my one are just all legacy title panels so you know if you go to close other panels in the group and then close that panel essential graphics or um, you, you could drag it over to here as well if you want essential graphics over there so you know you can bring it back and then actually you could say um, let's just bring that into that window and then obviously just square it up so it's you know a bit better for your um, a bit better for your clips and your timeline and everything so you, you can kind of just drag it all back to to how you want it it's essentially it looks just like the editing workspace but yeah it's just a, a bit of a bizarre one and like i said i've wasted a lot of time with it so <laughs> hopefully you know if you find it helpful then uh, please give the video a like if you want to see more videos like this then uh, please subscribe